Hello and welcome to a Dungeon Defenders 2 video. In this video I'm going to be doing an incursion as since uh, basically I have a daily bonus here, a daily mission to get uh, those 300 Defender Medals right there. It's basically just two ruin wins and um, well, and the incursion that I'm doing is pretty much a Chaos Tower 1 incursion which is I think it, it should be fine. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I basically wanted to do this while I I wanted to record while I'm excuse me while I'm uh, just doing this incursion, which shouldn't be really that bit of a a big deal. However, uh, I also wanted to try out uh, one of my uh, newest heroes as well. Now that she's been a little bit better, I do have like Chaos Tower um, four plus gear on her, which is I think it's 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 going to be fine. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to, well, put defenses and defend the place and uh, yeah, vice versa one more time just to get that defender medal. And this is basically how I literally get most of my defender medals, just by grinding uh, daily missions. And uh, also there's also that bonus mission. Uh, thankfully it was actually an easy one, it's just defeat 100 enemies with your abilities, which I kind of did without even no realizing that I actually did, which is cool. Uh, I also want to put some of these guys here, some barricades just in case. Not like it might, not, not like it matters. I mean, these things should deal more than enough damage to get rid of uh, enemies here. It's not exactly the strongest, uh, you know, at the current time. It is the strongest power that uh, the uh, Series Eve does have. So I kind of want to utilize it. And uh, yeah, we'll put these guys here, those guys there. I also want to put um, uh, some of these things here, just for defense, just for some extra... I'm going to put these things here, like this, just for that extra uh, air, um, anti-air facility, or whatever it's called. There we go. Uh, so we got these guys, I got my blockades, I always have blockades, even if it's too easy, I always have blockades just by habit. Uh, something to deal damage. Um, incursion 1 takes effect. Uh, the special enemies t are basically of Chaos Tower 1. So it's just the shield guys, which is fine. Uh, I have noticed that the incursions give a lot more mana than normal t Chaos Towers. Uh, even though they don't really give that much gear. So Chaos Towers give gear. Incursions just give more mana. Meaning, I guess, you play around a little bit with, with them. Uh, Chaos Towers also give you... Uh, what's it called? Um... Um, what are they called? I think it's like they give you like um, special weapons of some sort, which I guess is okay. I guess. So, anyway, let's see how we're doing here. Yep, pretty much easy thing, easy fix. Just gonna upgrade these guys for whatever reason. Uh, I, I I don't really think uh, you can really upgrade these things for whatever reason. These are the one defense that I've noticed you really can upgrade, and I don't really know how basically it takes effect. Like what is it? How does it build up its damage? Is it just raw damage, or is there a way to like upgrade it? Like how do you make this thing stronger? I do know that it has this thing here that basically gives you like special weapons and stuff, but still, like is there no way to upgrade it? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, so I'm just gonna be doing these uh, incursions. It's kind of an easy fix, not exactly b very big of a difficulty. Um, it definitely would have ta this takes a lot longer than what I would have had been what I what I would what I would be doing if I was doing like just an ordinary campaign mode of a d of the um, uh, and just do and just completing that because once you've basically once you've acquired even at least Chaos Tower one. Um, like stuff, uh, gear. Uh, yeah, pretty much you can you can pretty much farm the campaign without any difficulties, which is, I guess it's it's you know it's cool. So if you want to do like a very quick, if you see like bonus win, like the bonus mission being a um, like the daily missions being like a just win three games or uh, do a certain maps multiple times, just go to the campaign and just do them, and that's pretty much it. That's that's you sorted. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's actually the, the smartest way to do it because if it tells you to like do these maps, these specific types of maps, uh, those maps are usually just like there's only like one or two within each chaos tower or so. 
and um, yeah obviously it's difficulty will be ramped up depending on what kind of chaos tower that is so it's just a lot easier to just do them the way they are like the way they are right now um, like just 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 you know go do the one that's actually the easiest one to acquire um, anyway so yeah I been uh, I actually don't really know what to do do, to be honest aside from just doing grinding daily missions and I kind of have um, depleted all the heroes that I really wanted to get my hands on I have pretty much all the heroes that I could have wanted at the current time oh hello these guys successfully passed through gonna have to upgrade these guys um, so yeah I don't really know what to, what else to do or will there, what else bleh, what else is there to do um i guess i could do this a little bit hang on a second what am i doing hello i'm a bit confused there we go i'm just gonna you, you. just for for safety reasons i'm just gonna have this thing just here in the middle for whatever reason have its uh, effect all over the place so yeah, I pretty much have all the heroes that I could ever. Oh, hello. Let me just empty all these useless stuff over here. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Actually, you know what? I might keep you just in case. Do I have anything you of usage here? Um. Yeah, I'll keep you just for you know, a future hero or whatever. Uh, but yeah. So as far as heroes go, I have um. Yeah, I have the, the Abyssalor, the the uh, the Dryad. I have the Gun Witch, the Lava Monster, and the Series Eve two, which are the only heroes that I really wanted to get my hands on. Uh, the rest of the heroes is just the Mystic, and then the other two ones are, I believe, they're just gender switches of the of heroes that already that of the starter heroes. So aside from that, I don't really see what else to do. I guess I could like. You know, now is like the the path where I go for like you know maybe Chaos Tower Seven and stuff, and it would be cool to actually do that with like some with you know like with teams and stuff. Unfortunately, not a, not a lot of people actually do that. Um, yeah, very few people actually just do those particular modes. So yeah, it's it's I guess I don't know. I'm just stuck with doing the the grinding, which is fine I guess. Normally it would be fine. Because all I, all I need is those uh, defender medals to collect the next hero, the next thing, uh, and there's still things to collect, I guess. Uh, I still I can still collect some uh, like s some special pets uh, with defender medals, uh, but yeah, other than that, there is really nothing else for me uh, to do at the, at the current time in uh, defender medals except for a daily routine of just farming those um, uh, of just farming those defender medals. That's pretty much it. And um, yeah, pretty much um, it's just the, th the same thing each day. So I don't know. I I, I I might not like you know until like a very next big great content. Uh, I might save up my defender medals. I don't know. Maybe the next hero. Whoa! I almost died. Well, hello eggs. I kind of just sell eggs right now because I don't really have any pets. I've pretty much I've I have most of the variant pets. With a, just a few exceptions, but some of them are just so rare to acquire that you know that they're they're kind of there's no point in acquiring them. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's cool. Um, at the current time, I'm just uh, playing other games basically, mostly just trying to make progress on those games. And uh, yeah, I I don't really see anything else that I could do in here and. Um, in Dungeon Defenders, uh, still I guess there's still it's it's still an, a fun game or anything. It's just that there's you know at the current time there's nothing else to do that you know is significant. Now I could be doing the mastery mode, but as I covered on my previous video, I'm not a big fan of that of that mode. And um, I mean I I would be more than willing to do it with other people, except there's no one there. And uh, due to um, well due to region problems and stuff. I pretty much, by the time I'm actually online, most of my friends are offline because they, you know, they go to bed and stuff. So it's it comes to a point where you know there's no one to do anything when I'm, you know, like in, in in a 
in a type of uh, co-op. So I'm basically just, you know, just playing around, messing about. And most of the time I'm just playing solo. And uh, yeah, I guess even when you play with randoms, like the chances that, you know, there's a chance that you might join with one that with one one of those groups where they have no idea what they're doing or they're just messing around. So it's it's not exactly that it doesn't exactly help you in any way. Uh, and the mastery mode is definitely not for the kind of place where you like you, you want inexperienced players since it's an important thing. Now on the on the flip side is the kind of thing that anyone can play because literally a starter can can easily play as long as he's high enough level as long as he's like level 50 he can play it doesn't matter what gear he has since the gear that that you basically use in general um isn't really a it, it doesn't really affect uh, mastery mode since it pretty much takes away all, all your essential levels as well as all your uh like well defense gear and stuff like that so it's kind of you know it's kind of pointless uh, so yeah, I think um, really I think it, it kind of mastery mode in a way is like is the way that you know it, it, I don't like how it actually makes it so that you know everything you've grinded so far is just pointless, and the rewards for actually doing the grind for just doing mastery mode is not really that special. Yes, correct. Some of the some of the shards are actually pretty cool with. They're stronger, they're a better upgrade, obviously they would have to be. You know, it's, it's the encouragement of getting you to play that mode, otherwise there'd be no reason for you to play that mode. Collecting anything else is just cosmetics, and really, it, it's, it, I don't know if it, is it actually worth the effort, considering that you have to, like, go through basically, I and mean, then basically, you, you basically have to fight Chaos Tower 1 enemies, with literally no ascension point, no ascension levels, and literally no gear, so it's like, like I don't know what, what's going on here. Now, if they were like capped, say if they, oop, I didn't mean to pick that up. Um, so, however, if they were capped, say if they had like, you know, like if they were enemies who were simply level 50 on on par to your level, then okay, that would make sense. But enemies who are chaos tower enemies with literally no gear and no ascension levels. That's not exactly... You, you don't really want that. Oh, it looks like I got uh, myself a, a special weapon. <laughs> Unfortunately, the special weapons is, are just no use to me because... Uh, I... Yeah, it's... it's I... Um, they're just for that specific Chaos Tower level, so after you, you basically become... I guess the only, the only way... The only th reason is that for them to actually be useful is if you unlock them and then just go to the vendor and just purchase them and they'll basically become, you know, they'll, they'll give you, it'll give you a weapon that's the strongest uh, among the strongest of your heroes. So, I mean, that's the only reason to basically use them. But other than that, they're the ones that you do unlock in the levels are kind of, they do end up being kind of useless. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much a small little level. And um, what I basically do is, yeah, I, I gain that little, the small amount of 15 Defender Medals for completing the level. And I also replay the level. All over again for the um, just for the sake of doing the, completing the daily mission, acquiring those defender medals, and that's pretty much it. So this is just a small daily grind of what you normally would do. Uh, and uh, even though I'm not like Chaos Tower Seven, uh, I haven't reached Chaos Tower Seven at all, and I also haven't reached like um, I don't like, I don't really do that mastery mode that much. And I'm, I'm relatively low on mastery, considering that I have unlocked already, like, what, five heroes or something? Um, literally just by using defender medals. And uh, considering my mastery rank, I'm basically 100 and... Uh, master, I'm um, ascension level um, 170, so considering that, it's like, wow, it's like I depleted everything so quickly. So, it's cool. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it, it kind of gives me, there's nothing else for me to do here. So, aside from, aside from, uh, just, uh, um, just a daily grind to get those more Defender Medals, I mean, it doesn't really take that long to actually acquire these things, and it doesn't really, it's not a really big deal, so, um, I mean, aside from the daily grind, I don't really see any reason for me to actually keep on playing for the time being until the next update, which... Hopefully it might be a, a new unique hero, and I say that loosely. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, there's really no other uh, thing. There's really, there's pretty much nothing else to do. 
So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just end the video here. No need for you to see me grind all over again the same level. So um, yeah, this is this is basically what do you think would actually be cool to add into the game to basically extend the gameplay? Do you think mastery mode is pretty much enough? What is it like? Does it you know? Does it make sense, or is there something else that would be a lot more better? So, anyways, yeah, that'll be it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, not exactly a very useful video, just putting some some of my thoughts in the game and also showing a small example of what it is the daily grind like, just collecting those defender medals. And uh, yeah, I'll see you l later, I guess. So, bye!